What is up guys, Sink here, yes one, Star Trek Alien Domain Incursion, and today's video is all about affiliate ships. Now just to let you guys know, when you unlock affiliate ships, you can actually put them with your flagship to create a fleet. But just to let you know, you can only have four affiliate ships per flagship, so each flagship can have a total of four affiliate ships. Now also, you need to know that each flagship, when you put one lot of affiliate ships in, you cannot use that affiliate ship for any other flagship. As soon as you put it in there, that's it. It's specifically for that flagship. Now you can also take them out and remove from formation to put into another flagship and vice versa, exchange your ships out wherever you need to use them for. Now there's actually a huge variety of different affiliate ships that you can actually unlock within the game. As you can see on this server, I've actually got quite a fair few affiliate ships unlocked and just a few left to unlock. Now I'm going to pop over to another server where I've only unlocked a couple just so I can explain a bit more about each different affiliate ship. Right, so now I've popped onto another server I can show you a bit better. Now, each different affiliate ship to unlock requires a different source, such as a feet exchange or ship exchange. You can unlock those through there. Now, with some ships, you can only unlock them through virtual battles or chests. Now, the virtual battles is this up here. Now, what this is, is you get to pit your entire fleet against other players on the server's fleets. Now, this is only virtual battle, so you will not actually lose any affiliate ships or have to do repairs or anything. This is a virtual battle, so it's only a what-if scenario. And through that, you actually get your placements and actually get points to use. Now, these points are actually used in the exchange shop over here in virtual battles. Now, I've actually used all my points up, so I can't actually show you. But there is several different types of affiliate ships that you can actually unlock through the virtual battle. Now you can also unlock them through the feats. As you can see there's different ones here that you can unlock. So there are different ways of actually unlocking different ships. Now through the actual squadron, when you actually donate in a squadron, you get your personal funds here. And the squadron leader can refresh this at any point to actually give different uh, rewards to use. There we go. Uh, Granus debris. Now you can actually use your personal funds to buy these. Now you actually get five for each time you purchase through these and you can only purchase once unless the leader refreshes it or the refresh time counts down. Now they're quite expensive, that's 2000 which does take a lot of donations to your actual squadron. Other ways to get them is this. Right, so I've just headed to a sector that I haven't fully unlocked. In fact, I've unlocked one planet so far. Now, each time you actually unlock a planet, you get a piece of debris. Now, this is for the constellation. Now, I've actually already unlocked the constellation. Where is it? There it is. However, the debris that you actually get, as you can see here, I use to actually star up your affiliate ships. So, as you star up, it gives extra stats to your affiliate ships. So, obviously, unlocking more planets means more debris, which means being able to star up more. Now, you can actually level up your affiliate ships by using um, crystals. But, honestly, that does get really, really expensive. However, you can just level up by going into fights and uh, doing missions, which actually give XP not only to your flagship, but the affiliate ships that are actually in the battle. Now, also with the grade up system, as you can see, this one is green, while the rest of these are actually just grey. Now, when you actually get each of these components, so you need 10A2, 10B2, etc, etc. Now, for one that I haven't actually upgraded, you need A1 and B1. Now, these are actually kind of easy to get hold of. It does actually require you to use your vitality. And as you can see, the rewards for these are E2... F, uh, F2, but if you go to the lower sectors, as you can see, these are G1, H1, H1, G1, E1, C1. So if you actually do all these and you sweep, you can actually get the materials actually, that you actually need to use the upgrade. And when you actually grade these up, they actually turn to green and then eventually blue and purple, which makes your affiliate ships more powerful. Now, talking about the star up earlier, when you actually star up, oh, we can activate one there. When you star up and you filled the last star, you get to fully star up, which means that your ship will then become a star further up, which means your ship will become even more powerful. Now, setting up your affiliate ships in the actual fleet is actually kind of important to know which affiliate ships you 
putting in which position because each ship has a different um, ability. So let's quickly go ahead and show you. So we're going to compare these two first here, the Insurgent and Zephyr. Now as you can see, the individual HP for each affiliate ship that is actually in the formation is 1,774 with a total HP of 21,000. And as you can see with the actual Insurgent, the HP is actually a lot lower. Now these, let's have a look, just checking they're both the same level. Yep, both level 34. So the way that you'd actually plan this is having the actual higher HP in front of the lower HP. I'll show you what I mean. So I know for a fact that this one's got more HP than this one. So I'd place that in front to protect the affiliate ship behind it. Because the affiliate ships that are in front are always attacked first. And then when they're destroyed, they're attacked by the one behind. So it's always best to have the most resilient ship and the one with the most HP in front. To help defend the rest of the affiliate ships as well as your flagship. Now also, taking into account that affiliate ships have different abilities, you need to work out which affiliate ships you need to use in particular fights. So we're going to have a look at, say, the Zephyr. Now with Armor Break, now this is level 25, I'll explain what that is in a second, there's a 40% chance to trigger, reducing the target's armor by 74% for two rounds. So that obviously is a higher HP so I'd have that in front to reduce the armor and then get one of the heavy damage uh, affiliate ships behind it I'll show you what I mean now so say if this one had armor break and it armor bro uh, breaks the ship in front now when it comes down to this ship's turn say if that's the most hard hitting it'll actually do more damage having it in that rotation than having the armor break behind because the armor break will reduce the armor of the affiliate ship that you're attacking, when it comes to this ship's turn, it'll do more immense damage than what it would do if it was in front with armor break taking its second place. Now affiliate ships work on the same skill point system as your actual flagship, so you can actually level up your flagship skill points, uh, for, say its ultimate ability, and for your first ship, say the Prometheus for the uh, Federation, as you can see, protection field. Now, I did explain this in a previous video. Increases sh uh, fleet shields by 21.6% except the flagship. So, if I level that up, it's 21.8%. So, when you're putting skill points in this, it's actually helping protect your affiliate shields. Now, not only that, when you go to your affiliate ships, you can actually... Uh, let's have a look at a lower one. Say this one. You can actually also skill these up with your skill points to level up the actual abilities that each affiliate ship has. So I tend to try and get them all to the same sort of level, so sort of 20 on each affiliate ship and then move it up for 5 levels for each one. I did actually boost that one up quite far, I don't know why. Now affiliate ships aren't just used to put in with your flagship and create a fleet, there's also another use for them which is the debris. Now debris, as you level up and you open up more sectors, you get to see more ship debris areas. I'll show you what that actually looks like right now. Let's quickly go over here. Right, so here, level 1 ship debris. Now as you unlock planets, not all of them are resource planets. Some of them are actually debris. And when you click on debris down here, here we go, you open these up. Now what these are actually useful for is not only getting debris for your actual flagships to help star them up, you also actually get a load of rewards, which could be metal, crystal, experience, repair kits, etc. Now if we enter there, we can actually dispatch some of our affiliate ships into this. Now I'm going to use 20 Obroth because that's the most powerful affiliate ship that I've got with the most affiliate ships available. So I'm actually going to send those in. Now you can actually view your obtained items that you get and basically you just leave that to do what it does. Now to know which one that you actually got affiliate ships in, as you can see there's a ship there which tells you that you've actually set uh, your affiliate ships into that to actually try and claim rewards. Now as I say, um, you can only send a certain amount in which takes them out of the ones that you have available. So I've taken 20 affiliate ships out of my fleet so I will need to build more to put into the reserves if need be. Now as you can see the event occurs every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes these will go into a fight. 
in which you'll see that something's happened either some have died or they've uh, destroyed the, uh, some enemies in which you've actually got rewards for you don't actually need to do anything that's all automated in which you can come back and check on that at any point now also just to let you know you can end it and bring whatever affiliate ships you got back but I say just tend to pop in there like every hour or two just to see how many affiliate ships you got left. When you've got like just a couple left, end it, claim your rewards and then you can also go straight back into the same sector again or go for different ones. And as I say, there is a very low chance of getting debris for your flagship which actually helps star boost them which increases the stats of your flagship. Anyway guys, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Anything you need to know, leave it in the comments section. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Toodles!